All right, guys, Dan the man here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to open the back cover of the ASUS Transformer Book Flip. Um, there are 10 screws that you have to screw them. I've already done that. It's gonna take you like about 30 seconds, which is very basic. And I'm gonna show you where they are, but keep them somewhere that you're not going to lose them because uh, it would be hard to find it maybe later. Oh, uh, okay, there's 10 of them, one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is only 10 of them to uh, unscrew. And uh, once you wanna open this, actually I've opened it already to just save time, but uh, if you really wanna open this thing, you have to open it up from here. You have to start doing from here. So you just l push your uh, nail finger in, or if you have guitar picks or any simple tools like the end of these uh, creams, you could use these too if you don't have uh, nails or uh, end of a comb or anything, you know, anything that it's not going to damage this as long as it's not, not metal objects. Guitar picks are excellent things if you have, uh, but I don't know where my guitar picks are, but I uh, finally managed to open it with this. Once you open it once, it's easier to open it up uh, the next time because uh, this thing is quite very packed. It was one of the hardest notebook, uh, notebooks for me to open up because it was very tight. So you start from here, where I'm pointing this, or you can start from there. You just do it, you lift it up little by little up to there, you lift it up from here, and you start from here again, and you go all the way around on the back too. So you have to go all around it. And once you are doing it, be very careful with this because there are these uh, clips here. Be careful to not break them while you're passing by. It, uh, let's say while you're using this to open this, uh, once you reach here, you stop. You move away, you, st you start from here. Once you reach this, don't push, you can break this. Just uh, come out and then go in and then uh, keep going. So be careful to not break this. Uh, the back cover is plastic, obviously, so because they wanted to do cost saving. I was recording this video like about 10 minutes ago, but uh, a lot of people kept calling me. They don't call me, they call me when I want to make a video. And uh, okay, the battery socket was uh, in, and but before doing anything on this laptop, be sure to disconnect the battery because the battery is already inside it. It's not like those notebooks that you can take them out anymore, it's just in. So uh, there's this connector, okay. You gently push it back with your nails or any tools that you have and then you lift this up that's how you disconnect it and if you want to connect it back again but if you want to do works on this or upgrades please 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 be sure to disconnect the battery for safety and stuff and you can also change the battery by unscrewing the screw uh, these two so you could change it if you need it too but I do not recommend you doing it unless your laptop doesn't have any warranty. Do not remove this sticker on the graphic cards hint sync here. This is the A40M chip under this. And that is the Intel Core i3 chip set. Uh, you will be under that. And this is the fan. All this can be changed though. But since it has warranty, if I wanted to change them, I would just send it back to the factory. Because I'm not going to do it. Because it's going to be for free. And the RAM is... Uh, hidden under this protector shield here and uh, that is your hard drive it could be uh, 500 mega 500 gigabytes or a terabyte and that's where you can put in a micro uh, mini micro SD no not mini micro SD I mean a uh, mini SSD inside here the small chips that are like 8 gigs or 16 or 24 and something so uh, to make your uh, windows uh, boot up time faster if the windows install it on that which I don't have the chip here because this is the Core i3 version of it which is the cheaper version so it just came with 500 gigabytes of the 5400 rpm hard drive here and the um, RAM is hidden under this protector shield but it's it's uh, this shield is a little bit tough to remove at first once you push it in 
there are actually clips here to like uh let me take this out this shield uh, i don't know why they put a shield on the ram socket maybe they wanted to protect it from heat that comes out from the gpu the 840m here or i don't know they have their own reasons to do i don't have to ask and okay okay it's quite tricky but you can lift it up gently from there and here so you just be very gentle while removing this and putting this back it's a bit tricky but it's gonna take like uh, 10 seconds of focusing okay you just put it back in but there are like two small clips here and two small clips here four clips here and two uh, four clips here and this should go inside the main board or the motherboard you just gently push it in and it's already installed see it's not moving the shield is installed and uh, let me remove this again it feels like it's stuck once you do it but it's gonna come out eventually uh, there is like four gigabytes RAM on board on the motherboard already and you can expand and you can get another eight gigabytes of DDR3 uh, 1600 megahertz uh, RAM and put it here which uh, for the maximum we can go up to 12 gigabytes if you purchase the 8 gigabyte Which I am going to do soon But for you guys for me, it's okay at the moment because I'm not doing any heavy tasks on this And I do not need that much of RAM once you put the RAM in you just pull this thing back Okay, everyone knows how to change the RAM if you don't know it's quite easy. I don't have a RAM to sh show unfortunately it's it goes in very well okay and uh, let me put the battery connector in you push it in simply and then you move the okay it's uh, be very gentle with this to take your time because you don't want to break anything okay the battery is already installed now and that is the speakers two of the speakers you have here and uh, the wireless card i think it's um, uh i cannot find the wireless card here for a second it was confusing when i opened it up first i was like where the hell is the ram box can i upgrade this thing but now i know Okay, the RAM is there, the hard drive is there, you can replace it with an actual SSD, which I recommend you doing it. You can get a 256 for like 90 bucks something. USD or uh, 60 British pounds, whatever. Converting to your money and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. You can actually change a lot of stuff here, but do not remove the sticker that is on the heatsink and uh, the main board because it's gonna fuck up the warranty of this unit. And then be very careful with these screws to not lose them, there is 10 of these. And once you just wanna put it back in, uh, everything, you wanna put back everything back in, make sure you've done your... Actually before uh, putting back the back cover, make sure that the battery connector is all right. So you can actually boot this thing up before doing it it's a converter so it can come like that so let's test this to see if it's actually working uh it is working you see it's uh, it just takes some time because the freaking 500 uh, uh 5400 rpm hard drive is freaking slow okay as you can see it's up right now So, you can put this, uh, I put it on sleep mode. Okay, we are done with the testing, you Tur can turn it off too. You just put it back in gently as it was and you have to press. Make sure it's tight and it's done well.
I just wanted to show you that what you can actually upgrade on this thing and then put the screws back in simply and easy put them all back in there is 10 of them so three more to go I wish they would have used aluminum on the back too but sometimes it's good to have plastic because um, it doesn't heat that much though so you don't actually need it but plastics are good for laptops that really heat like crazy you just screw them back in don't screw them too hard though because you don't want to break anything inside okay let's do this I'm gonna buy the 256 gigabytes SSD and another 8 gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM to upgrade this unit to make it a bit faster than what it is because I hate the hard drive that it's in it now. It's very slow, so I wouldn't have a problem with loading time. When I was reading reviews and stuff, I don't remember if, if it was on notebookcheck.com that they mentioned that it's uh, hard to upgrade this laptop, but it's not hard. I mean, it's not like Apple products. You can definitely upgrade whatever you want on this. It's just four gigabytes of RAM that is on the motherboard, which you cannot touch. Uh, on other models, it could be outside it, but yeah, you can add another eight gigabytes or four gigabytes or two gigabytes, depending on how much you want to upgrade this thing. Okay, you're good to go. Oh my god, yeah. It is healthy, working fine, everything's good. Alright, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. If it was helpful, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Just.